Okay, like I promised y'all, I was gonna have a video on the tutorial how to do motion tracking and and in animation, but just the motion tracking part. All right, when Counter Strike, and I'm at Inferno, and I'm gonna be recording this little area right here. That's what I'm gonna be recording is right here. All right, and that's we're gonna put a text in the middle of the ground so get you uh, a place to record and make sure you're looking type down at the ground or somewhere else all right so I already recorded it and I'm gonna just as it got that all right I'm gonna open up I'm going to open virtual dub Desktop, and I'm gonna open up Virtual Dub and and just this is what I recorded. All right, so I just want that part. So when I get here, as soon as I turn, I'm gonna hit Home, go to the beginning, hit Home, and delete. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna be recording right here. Right here. Alright, so I'm gonna go to video, frame rate, no change. I mean, um, change frame rate to 500 because that's what I record at. I'm gonna file, save as AVI, and I'm gonna put it motion track. highest and when I finish I'm gonna open Vegas so see you in a bit all right see how this finished rendering all right so look it's smooth a little smoother so open Vegas mine's already open and import the video I see my explore how to strike recordings motion track <clears throat> all right what you want to do is right click that's if you recorded with um 500 FPS go to velocity insert remove envelope velocity right click the beginning of it go to set to and hit three all right that'll make it slow motion but still smooth and you just want to drag it out Yeah, just drag it out till the end of it. All right, good. Mine's about nine seconds. All right. Don't worry about it being slow motion. And when you're on record, hold on. <clears throat> All right. So this is how it looks. It's in slow motion. All right. So you want to take it, preview, go to best, full, and highlight it, file, render as, save as type, go to image sequence, and save it as a JPEG. Me personally, I will make a new folder, but I'm going to put it in my favorites, and I'm going to name it motion track. Render loop, stretch video to fill output frame size. Do not use letterbox and save. 
Alright. Mine's going to take a while to render since I'm using a recording system. So, after this, open up Buju. The link will be in the description. And see you there. Alright, now we're in Buju. This is Buju 5, I think. It's blue. So, alright, so let's get started. Um, first, you want to import sequence right here. And go to where you saved your pictures I put mine in favorites you see it'll be a whole bunch of pictures so open the first one it should be whatever you named it slash zero 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 dot jpeg and open don't hit ok hit apply then close as you see it's it's in you'll see right there <laughs> alright go to track features advance and you want to move up two slots all right and then you go to start all right so we're going to start tracking everything you want to be tracked all right but right now we focusing on the floor all right so i'm gonna let mine track and i'll see you when it's finished all right, as you can see, it finished tracking. You see the track with some yellow spots moving. See how the one with the floor is, is good. It's staying in place, all right? Now you want to do is go to camera solve under the track features. Don't do nothing. Just click optimize camera path smoothness and start. And mine shouldn't take that long. So we just wait for it to finish. It's on 50. Enjoy the music while you wait. All right, now we're finished. All right, you see how you got the trackings on the floor looking good. All right, now you wanna see the trackers on the floor, and they all look pretty good. So you wanna press Control G. Or Command G if you're on a Mac, I think. Add coordinate from hint. Go to type. Click X axis. Alright. And you want to take one off the floor. And it's going to turn green. Hold control. And click another one that's um, parallel to it. And from there, go to connect to select it. Now you're gonna add coordinate from head again. Go to type, sex to Z axis. And you're gonna choose two that are per I mean perpendicular or intersected to each other. Alright, that look good. And you're gonna connect to selected. Now you're gonna go to coordinate from head. And go to origin and select one in the middle of them both. So I could select that and go to connect to selected, update coordinate frame, and then close. So now you got your your trackers, your main trackers. Now what I do sometimes I just take the outside one. Nah, let me not. All right, so that's good. Now, now you want to do is go to export camera solve um, image sequence secrets one camera solve one export type cinema 4d c4d moving type moving camera static scene and go to scale by scene and change it to 100 and I'm gonna save mine as motion track Alright, and just hit save and it will save. Good. Then you go to export again after the save. Export sequence. And I saved it in my favorites and just press OK. Now while it's rendering, I'm gonna open Cinema 4D. You can find it on 
um, anywhere on YouTube. If I know where it is, I have the link to the video channel so you can download it. Or the, um, the link on the Pirate Bay. So I'll meet you there.